in a new day, um, a very new day, a very new week. And we are thanking God for the grace and His mercies upon our lives. And we're very excited that God has continued uh, to speak to us and to minister to our hearts and to minister to our lives. And uh, there is nothing as best as that, you know, that's the best thing that the Lord, you know, can do to us, uh, you know, to know that He is concerned about our lives and He's thinking about our welfare and He has sent forth His word uh, in our generation for His own glory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, I'm requesting us to come on board. I'm requesting us to come on board. Kindly wake up. Uh, wake up. Let us. Uh, let us uh, move together this morning and listen to the voice of God and uh, you know hear what uh, the Lord is speaking to us yeah this this day by his grace in the name of Jesus hallelujah father we thank you for the new week we thank you for your faithfulness your goodness and your mercies upon our lives but father we are very excited that you have continued uh, to give us the breath of life and my God, we know as long as we are alive, you've got good plans for us. For the Bible says you're not a God of the dead, but you're God of the living. And we are assured of this one thing, that Jehovah God, you have got good plans for us, even in this new week in the name of Jesus. You spoke to us yesterday and you said, God, you are commanding and you have commanded already uh, for a remembrance uh, of, of your remnants, you know, your, your people. Uh, Amos chapter 3 and verse 12 uh, showed us that God, it, it, even if it is just two legs that are remaining in the mouth of Orion, my God, of the remnants of your people, even if it's just a piece of an ear that is remaining, Jehovah God, you are going to uh, deliver us from, from the mouth of the lion and you're going to cause us to live you're going to cause us to live you're going to cause us my Jehovah to come out and, and, and to be able to do that which you have ordained for us you restore us in our heritage you restore us in our destinies you restore us God in you in your purposes for our lives and we shall be able my father to become my God at that which you preordained for each one of us in the name of Jesus. Father, we exalt your name. Father, we honor you. We adore you, everlasting Father. And we commit the week to you. We commit our lives to you. And we pray that God, your purposes may prevail in our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, we continue reminding you because we are your children, just like the grace in the hands of the potter. So our lives are in your hands. And we pray that God, you may continue molding us by your grace, giving us your shape, oh God, and my Father, making us what you preordain, what you preordain. Because Father, you called us, you already justified us. Jehovah Redeemer, you've already glorified us. Oh Lord, we are so grateful in your presence in the name of Jesus. Thou be exalted, thou be glorified in our generation in the name of Jesus. We love you this morning. We are giving you our we are giving you ourselves this week. Father, we are giving you ourselves. I give you me this morning. Rima Zika Yandoro Bozia Shakantarama Zika. Father, we give you ourselves. Come on, somebody. If you are on board with me, just open up your mouth. We are giving ourselves to the Lord this week. We are dedicating our lives to Him. We are dedicating our families. We are dedicating our businesses. We are dedicating our careers, everything about us. We are giving it all unto Him today in the name of Jesus. The Lord may have His way. The Lord may take over. The Lord may reign by His power and majesty in the name of Jesus. Father, reign, reign, reign in our houses, reign in our offices, reign in our homes, oh God, in the name of Jesus, reign in our thoughts, reign in our desires, reign in our hopes, oh King of all glory, in the name of Jesus. 
In the name of Jesus, thank you, everlasting Father. Great is your faithfulness this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we love you. Father, we exalt you. Father, we honor you. And we adore your holy name. Thank you, King of our glory. My Father, this Monday belongs to you. Tomorrow, Tuesday belongs to you. Wednesday belongs to you. And my Father, if these days belong to you, Father, they too belong to us. Because God, we are your sons. We are your heirs. In the name of Jesus, we give Give you Thursday, we commit Friday to you, Saturday all the way to Sunday, and my God, even the tell of this year and the days that are left in our lives, Father, we give ourselves to you, the Lord, you may take over in our lives and in our destinies, and we may be shaped up, my Father, by your grace, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, King of our glory. Receive our worship this morning. Receive all the glory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Jehovah. We love you this morning. We give you the honor in the name of Jesus. We pray and we believe. Hallelujah. Uh, we are continuing with what we began um, uh, uh, for 15 uh, days ago. And we are very excited that every day the Lord is giving us something new. So we are on our day uh, 15th and we, we, are, we are very happy that God has a word for us this morning in the name of Jesus. One thing I would want us to know, uh, I said I'm also ministering to myself, is, is that we are in a very new day. It's a very new day. It, it's a very, very new day. And, uh, you know, God has a remnant of his people. And, and Jehovah God has, you know, has a design for this new day. I, I want each one of us to, to be reminded that every time God was doing something new on earth, you know, he, he had picked a people or a person, uh, a person was had picked and God had picked people for that person so that that person was able to accomplish the assignment of God. And you look, if you look at the way God was working with every person, it was a different design altogether. It was a different setup altogether. And this is why we are saying we must be able to fit in, you know, as an individual to that which God is doing in our generation in the name of Jesus. Now, this call is a corporate call but before we get to the corporate setup the Lord is dealing with us as an individual because uh, uh, if, if I'm not okay if you are also not okay uh, then God cannot walk uh, walk with us in this journey he cannot entrust us with his assignment for this hour it, 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 can, it, it can be very difficult because you know God has rules and regulations in his kingdom it, it is a kingdom that we belong into and just like the way we have rules and regulations of one nation, the same case applies to the kingdom we belong to. So we, we must be able to adhere to, to the do's and the don'ts of our kingdom so that we are able to praise God in our endeavors in this particular moment in the name of Jesus. And I want to say what I'm hearing, the spirit where I'm sitting right now, there is no shortcut. Hallelujah. And Nehemiah, when God has given you favor after fasting and praying, and God has given you favor, and now you're on the ground, uh, to be able to de uh, to begin rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem, you know there is no shortcut. You cannot cut it off. You have to do the assignment all the way. Hallelujah! Because you sought God and He gave you the strength. He gave you the you know the way forward. So you have to do the assignment all the way. And this is what we are saying. It is no time to slow down. We are not stopping on the way. We are not stopping. We are going all the way by the grace of God, and we shall be able to accomplish the agenda of God in our generation in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So I, I love the scripture. You know, this little boy is reminding me uh, this this scripture, you know, this, this parable that Jesus gave about, about um, you know, the people who, be, who had been given talent. And, and uh, you know, the, the conclusion of the matter, Jesus is saying, Blessed is a servant who will be found so doing, not those who did and they stopped doing, but blessed is us who, no matter what, and uh, you know, the issues of life and uh, whatever, we are still doing what the Lord has called us to do. Because it is not time to slow down. It is time to go all the way and to accomplish the agenda of God by His masses in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. So uh, God is very faithful. He's so good. And he's our God. And, uh, you know, his masses endure forever. Hallelujah. So it is a personal responsibility. And we have been saying in this particular moment, we are going to enjoy a reboot for us. You know, like the computer, the, our operation, our spiritual operations are not uh, in order. Things are out of order. We are going to see rebooting. You know, there is going to be a restarting. Hallelujah. So we are going to see new strength. We are going to see freshing, fresh, uh, you know, freshening up. We, we are going to see, uh, you know, new vigor. Hallelujah. New zeal. Because why? It's a season of new oil. Hallelujah. The oil is being changed. Hallelujah. The other thing you're going to see is the station. And, and you know, God is giving life afresh for his own lemnants in the name of Jesus. Some people have been hit here and there. If you hear uh, Amos the same, you know, even if it is two uh, rags that are left in the mouth of a lion of the children of Israel, God is going to deliver them. Hallelujah. Even if it is a near, uh, and my brethren, a near is not the whole body. You know, two legs is not the whole body. So it, it, even if it is that small bit that is still left, you know, that small right that is still writing in, in, in your in your singing ministry, in, in your praying ministry, that is what God is backing on so that he can be able now to position each one of us to become that which he preordained in the name of Jesus. One thing I want to let us know is as what Jesus said, he told the disciples, you know, he was speaking to God and he was speaking in the, in the, in the company of the apostles and he said, Father, the ones that you gave me, hallelujah, none will get lost. I have not lost any, hallelujah, unless the son of perdition, amen, none of us will get lost. The, the, the making, uh, even the journey may have been very tough, my Jehovah God, but I want to encourage us this week that God is still together with us and the good work he began in our lives, he is still bringing that work into accomplishment for his own glory and honor in the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. So as you rise up this Monday to go to your office, to go to your business, I know ministers of the gospel, many rest today because the week ahead is always very, you know, very hectic uh, by the grace of God. But listen to this, somebody, don't uh, don't fear. There is no cause for Aram. The Lord is together with us. The Lord is watching over his city. Hallelujah. And I love what the Bible says in the book of Psalms, that he is the one who watches over Israel. He does not sleep or slumber. Hallelujah. He is our God. He is our Father. He is watching over our lives, our going out, our coming in. God is concerned, our rising up, our sitting down. He is concerned about all those things. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. His eyes, the Bible says his, his eyes are set upon the righteous and he's watching over us every moment in the name of Jesus Christ. So uh, be encouraged this morning and know that the Lord can see it all. The Lord know, knows, uh, he knows it all and he is our father in the name of Jesus. So we in that culmination season where we are going to see you know the crowning up of every matter as far as our lives are concerned as far as our destinies are concerned it does not matter you know uh, again i want to flash at to flash us back when you hear god speaking about the two reds left in the mouth of a lion my god so many of us maybe are uh, you are coming up in, in, from places where your life has been so messed up you know joseph you where you are coming from even your own brothers things have not been working so well you know your life may be uh, may be so ordered you may be having very small scars and very big scars hallelujah my god the scars are to show you know even as we testify where we are coming from and we did not give up we did not die there we said we are not going to die we confess the word of god and we said we shall not die but live to declare the word of the lord in the land of the living hallelujah and uh, the lord uh, is about to to use us hallelujah because of the new oil amen and he's going to give us a new song the lord will give us a new song the lord will give us a new vigor the lord will give us a new strength the lord will give us you know um 
new hope amen in the name of jesus and i want to assure us that those who hope in the lord will never be disappointed in the name of jesus so we are day number 15 by the grace of god and we are looking at how we are supposed to be prophetically fitting you know dress fitting for this occasion you know it, it, it is a new occasion and uh, just like the way we make choices of our dressing you know you choose the attire you use the kind of a garment you want to wear depending on the occasion so that is it that is where we are right now uh, god is uh, 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 commanding us uh, you know that we choose as the sons of God, the remnants of his people, how we are supposed to dress prophetically for this hour so that we are able to represent him properly in our generation in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So, uh, number 15, the Lord is speaking to us and is saying, forge ahead, forge ahead, move ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Amen. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Um, we, we must persevere to the end. Uh, the scripture is there. Amen. So uh, it, it does not really matter um, where you are coming from because our past does not determine our future. Our today is determining our future. Amen. Hallelujah. That you know, our yesterday does not determine our future because you know that one you can't change. But what is determining my future is today and tomorrow. Hallelujah. What I can work on and what I can change. What I can you know I can transform. What I what I can you know uh, edify. What I can you know uh, make make better. That is what is determining my future. Future. hallelujah so Joseph where you are coming from you know uh, you know it can contribute like now the God virtues can contribute well to my future but does not wholly determine apart from those godly futures my god the the, the 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 agony my brothers have taken through you know the pain i have gone through in the hands of potiphar's wife you know uh, be finding myself in his cells and no uh, and uh, I've, I've i've wronged nobody daniel in babylon finding myself my god a whole night jehovah god in the company of animals jesus christ this is not easy hallelujah so those are scars my god hallelujah uh, and uh, you know they are good amen that's that experience another day we were talking about the experience the experience is good for our lesson hallelujah and for not only for us but the lesson also for those people who are surrounding us so we must be very very careful and we must fight we might we must fight on that's what i'm hearing the spirit arise and fight on hallelujah don't throw in the towels it is no time yet hallelujah it is no time yet to to hold or to fold your your nets my god we are still trusting god for a catch hallelujah so we are not carrying the tent i mean the nets home we are still waiting on god for a catch so we, we we are standing there and asking our father what is the next instruction we try this with our strength hallelujah and jesus will come and say uh peter i i know you have told the whole night amen but cast that the same net in the same water but on the right side hallelujah take it deeper but on the right side hallelujah and that is it amen the next instruction from the mouth of the lord is giving us a way out and we shall have results my jehovah god even in this hour in the name of jesus christ hallelujah so the next thing is the lord is speaking to us today the beginning of a new week is fought ahead hallelujah if there is something that you have heard from the mouth of the lord it is time to move ahead now it is no time to stop or slow down but a moment to keep moving it's a moment to keep moving keep doing hallelujah keep doing amen my job our reward is great keep praying amen pray without ceasing so keep praying amen keep giving hallelujah church it is not time to slow down you may have waited for 20 that years and you have not seen the results hallelujah know that wherever you are and what you have gone through it has been your personal process of making it has been your personal process of making so we we are we are still there many of us are still being made and all of us are still clay my god in the hands of, of the potter our father is a potter so he's still molding us and, and, and let me tell you the truth god is a father and he's a loving father there are things he'll never answer until he knows and he's sure that we have attained the age of maturity the bible says paul is saying no um 
until you know Ahia is a child whatever belongs to him is still kept in the hands of custodians you know uh, people who can watch over it properly until he matures until he attains a particular age hallelujah where he can be trusted by uh, uh, by, by, by the father uh, with, with, the, with the with the with the things amen that is the time when uh, you know when uh, when, uh, when uh, things will be released the things that have, have been in the hands of custodians you know or, or caregivers that is the time those things will be released to him hallelujah now the same case applies to our lives we could be praying and we have prayed years one year 20 years you're counting that years you know i've always looked at the life of hannah my job I don't know how long she prayed. The Bible does not clarify how many years uh, are good enough. This one for, for Sarah and Abraham, it is clarified. Hallelujah, how many years they were. But for Hannah, it is not said. So we don't know how long Hannah prayed or waited in secret. Hallelujah. But when God says, my time has come, in my job, it is like what we read in the book of Psalm 126. It will be like people who are dreaming. Hallelujah. In captivity, being taught to sing songs of uh, you know praises and songs of dance and joy in the land of captivity hallelujah so that is it amen so it is not time to slow down it is time to keep on moving in this moment the Lord is speaking to us and saying keep on moving it is not it is time uh, to renew our strength that's what the bible says those who wait upon the lord shall renew their strength so don't wait for anybody to renew your strength renew your strength it is a personal call it is a personal responsibility and know that it is such an individual call this one it's such an individual call so arise renew your strength as an individual in the name of jesus now the other thing the lord is speaking to us this morning is that we must know that the the pace is already set jesus our predecessor has gone ahead of us and he has already set the pace on how we are supposed to move how you are supposed to do things you know he's already our forerunner he has gone ahead of us so we have every mod i mean uh, we have a role model and we have everything set on pace hallelujah so we have something to hold on if it is prayer we have jesus to hold on hallelujah if, if it is dealing with the religious setups if it is interacting with the people hallelujah we have a way of doing things because our fallen jesus has already completed this and he said on the cross it is finished hallelujah so the pace is already set we shall uh, we, uh, the other thing is that we must recall that our fitting in uh, our fitting in you know our fitting in there right now uh, in the Lord is already fortified you know our our footing and our fitting in in the Lord and our footing here on what we are supposed to be doing the Lord spoke to us from day one that it is already fortified hallelujah and very secure so no weapon fashioned against that shall prosper by any means in the name of Jesus so our footing in the Lord and what we are supposed to be doing as fitting in his kingdom it is already so much fortified and secured by the grace of God in the name of Jesus hallelujah now recall it's an individual salvation let us know it is our individual you know as i was preparing this yesterday night the spirit of god was reminding me that before we say we are born again you know that we be like giving the testimony we are born again we love the lord kaidre begin by saying i am born again i love the lord hallelujah before we include the masses in our testimony you know let us begin knowing it is about us as an individual it is what it is a personal uh, salvation which must be guarded uh, with fear or hardened with fear and troubling hallelujah we are seeing that Paul speaking that in the book of Philippians chapter 2 and verse 12. Hallelujah. He's saying, work out. It is something to work for. Hallelujah. Work out. It is salvation is work. Work out your salvation with the fear and the troubling. It is my personal salvation. Hallelujah. Even before I gather with my brethren, I should be able to meet the standard or to live up to the standard of, of the call of God in my life. So that when I gather with my brethren, together we shall be be able uh, uh, to, to restore that warmth, you know, the unity of purpose, hallelujah, we shall be able to, to do that by the grace of God, and we shall be able to move, you know, in accordance to the purposes of God, as the body of Jesus Christ, amen, that's why we should be resonating from the, from the same frequency, hallelujah, that is why my Jehovah God, we should be uh, downloading from the same, because the Bible says we are coming from one God, one spirit, so we don't have two Jesus, we don't have two heavens, we my Jehovah, our enemy is the devil, so we are not an enemy to each other. So we should be able to resonate from the same frequency by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. So you 
must work. Regina, you must work on your salvation so that when you gather with other brethren who are also doing the same thing, we shall be able to connect, my God, in the name of Jesus. There will be a meeting point. That is what I'm hearing the Spirit of God say. When, when I work out my salvation as an individual and then I gather with other people who have done the same thing, then we shall be able to, to, to have that warmth. We shall be able now to fit in as members, different members of the same body. We shall be able to meet up somewhere and uh, every member will be able to fit in where it belongs hallelujah without any strain without jealousy without strife hallelujah why we have a lot of strife in the church of jesus christ is because we are not working out our salvation in fear and troubling amen this is what the virtue some of the virtues we are doing from the archers the bible says you know the way they lived the way they you know they loved you know uh you know the teaching or the counsel or the doctrine of the apostles they lived on it daily it was a daily work i may call meeting every day jehovah people you know uh, are sacrificing their time you have their family time sacrificing their resources you know to travel to make sure they are under one roof for for, for to get that 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 counsel the doctrine of the apostles daily it was a daily fellowship now this is called work salvation is work hallelujah church are you hearing what the spirit of god is saying salvation is work and it is going to begin by being a personal work paul is showing that in the book of Philippians chapter 2 he's showing in, in verse 12 he's showing us it is a personal work hallelujah i work it out with fear and trouble so when i am set in order my god when i fit in in in, in the lord first i fit in the lord first as a born again person so when i gather with my brethren the other members because i'm also a part of them of the of the body of jesus christ i'm also a member then we shall be able to fit in very well there'll be no friction hallelujah things will just flow amen things will just flow oh my god things will just flow and i want to let us know my god what god is doing right now it is calling for an individual church i mean touch it is an individual touch god is individually dealing with us whole wholesome ray you know wholesome ray every in every aspect my god hallelujah and that's why matthew in matthew 15 and in verse 13 he say any planting that my father has no planted ramazika in your in my social setup in, in my in, in my spiritual setup in my psychological uh, setup uh, in every sphere of my life any planting that my father has not planted it shall be uprooted hallelujah and you know we have been reading these scriptures before uh, my god and we, we were like god you know we are looking at things as if they are very far now it is already happening and the things are happening very fast and i love god for his quickening things are happening very very fast Hallelujah. So we just need to get hold uh, of what the Lord is doing and be able to fit in his space and be able to learn, you know, uh, to, to, to fit in. Hallelujah. And know it is an individual call. Amen. So guard your, your salvation. Work on it. Handle it with the fear and troubling. Hallelujah. If you look at the word of God in the book of Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 1b, I love the part B of that. And the, the whole scripture is very sweet, but my concentration is a, 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 a part B of that. The Bible says, let us learn with endurance the race that is set before us. Now, each one of us must know in this work of salvation, we are in a race. Hallelujah. We are in a race. We are in a race and we are not competing with each other. Each one of us has their own lace. I have my own lace. So I must know before even I gather up with other brethren, who am I? I must know who I am in the Lord. Hallelujah. I must know which member am I in the body of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So that this is calling for a personal responsibility. You know, that personal responsibility so that you may become a blessing. So that Regina in your prophetic office, you may fit in well in the body of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And let me surprise you my brethren as a pastor as a as a as, a, as an evangelist you're not called to fit in in, 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 in in any setup because it is called that it is called church there is a place where god has ordained for you and this is what we should be locating right now kindly somebody you cannot run your race my god with endurance because before you as, as a son of god there is a race there is that means this thank you holy spirit i hear the spirit of god say there is something you are supposed to 
to accomplish in your life. Hallelujah. There is that which God expects you to accomplish as a son of God. Amen. This is the race. You know, there is an assignment. There is an agenda of God for your life. So you should be able to perceive, I mean, to perceive it. Amen. And go that direction with endurance. The Bible says, Paul is saying, run your race with endurance. It is your race. Hallelujah. So that you are able to fit into that the Lord is doing and saying in this particular moment in the name of Jesus. Amen. So we, that's why we began at the, the other day, about four days ago, we say we are just like clay in the hands of the porter. We are clay in our Father's hands. Hallelujah. I, 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 because we are still on the race and it is His race for us. My God, yes, we are not running our race that we have we, we have built for ourselves or we have, uh, you know, we, we have uh, orchestrated for ourselves. This, our race is given by the Lord. So He is the one who knows, you know, the, the kind of a race I can run as a, as a son in His kingdom. So if he sees he has given me the strength for 100 meters he will enable me and he'll he'll cause me go that direction so it is an individual responsibility to be able to fit in and, and to be able to know who I am in the Lord, hallelujah. And that this one will avoid conf conflict and confusion that is there in the church. Amen. It, it will avoid this. And we shall start, as the Bible says, iron sharpens iron. We shall sharpen, sharpen each other. There will be no competition in our midst. There will be no malice in our midst. There will be no jealousy in our midst. There will be no strife in our midst. I hate strife. Oh my God, hallelujah. We shall be able to fit in well as sons of God where God has ordained for each one of us by the grace of God. And what can only be found in such kind of setups is complimenting. Hallelujah. Do you see the kind of sacrifices the Arab church people are making? My God, I look for this. You know, we, are, we are in a generation where you can be in the same fellowship with other brethren and you are going through stuff and they, they are well able. Nobody can perceive it. Nobody can sense it. Nobody can discern it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People have a lot of food in their fridges, one, two, three fridges. They have them, but somebody in the same fellowship has nothing. Oh my God, where is the Spirit of God? Hallelujah. People have clothes and everything else. So many things they have stocked them in their houses. Yet in the same fellowship, my God, in the same body where you are a member, you cannot feel. My God, let me tell you, my brethren, you cannot feel something is not right. Let me tell you, my brethren, if my head is not okay, because this is my whole body, if a, a, a part of my head or even my own finger is not okay the entire body will be sensing something is very wrong in the body hallelujah and because what we are we are resonating from the same sound we are resonating from the same frequency all of us should be sensing the same now anywhere in your life even if it is in a conference you seem to be getting uh, things from different frequencies run for your life learn for your life my job this is why i'm saying why are people buying oils why are people drinking Oils. Why are people going through the, uh, this kind of, you know, like rituals, you know, rituals in the houses of God? Why? You should, as a son of God, the Spirit of God, a deposit of the Spirit of God in you, should be telling you in our kingdom, we don't match merchandise. We buy nothing. We sell nothing. Hallelujah. That is it. And, and you know, we, we give freely. The Bible says in the book of Acts, even those people who had, they sold what they had. Imagine somebody selling their car so that the brethren in the church may be may not be lacking anything, may not be lacking house rent, may not be lacking food. Hallelujah. They covered. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I hear the Spirit of God say they covered the nakedness of their own. Hey, hallelujah. They covered the nakedness of their own. And the Bible shows me, you know, every day God was adding them in number. How many crusades do we have in our day? Today, uh, Christian walk. How many crusades? How many revival meetings? How many miracle services? How many deliverance services? And is God adding? The people who are coming there are people who are looking for gimmicks, you know, and to be excited physically. But there are not people. If Jesus came, you know, many people will not make it to heaven. I'm not judging. I'm a prophet. I'm speaking from that office by the grace of God. So let us avoid things that are not you know that are not adding value to what we have been called for and where we are going hallelujah anything that is not adding value to where we are going and what we have been called into anything that is not written in the word of god kindly discard it and as a son of god you should be able to see things for yourself hallelujah and know what is for you and not what is not for for our kingdom you should be able to perceive that for yourself and discard 
because you are a, despite the fact that we still have the human body we are a spiritual being we are able to sense this that this uh, uh, this person is not speaking from our kingdom hallelujah this one is not speaking from our kingdom and we should be able to hear from that and let me tell you the truth if you perceive somebody is not speaking from 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 the kingdom where you belong uh, then now you that is the, well, that's what the bible says test every spirit even me, even as I preach to you, test the spirit. If you are, if you are resonating from the same sound, then we are good to go. No, it is good. Test every spirit. Hallelujah. Because not everybody preaching is preaching from the spirit of God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So know that you have a race as an individual. Let us run with a jewel as the race that is set before us. So this race is set by God. So we are running as individuals. Regina, as I minister to you this morning, I obeyed God this January to do what I am doing. I, I am running my race. Hallelujah. This is my race. Whether I have one viewer or two viewers, it is my race. I am running. Hallelujah. Because it is God who is giving me utterance every day. Then now, Timothy uh, chapter 2. Uh, I mean Timothy, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 4, 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 7 and 8. I, 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 I beg to read those scriptures, they are very sweet. Let me read for us those scriptures in the book of Timothy, uh, 2, uh, 2 uh, Timothy, hallelujah. Um, there, so I'm going to read the word of God. The Bible says chapter 4 of that, chapter 4 of 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7 and verse 8, the Bible says, no, uh, let me read from verse 6. The Bible says, For I am already being poured out as a drink. Look, look at this. This is Paul. For, now, for I am already being poured out as a drink offering, and the time of my departure is at hand. I love that. Yani, somebody even knows when they are supposed to go. I love this. And when I look at the Old Testament, I see the same thing. You know, death did not just come. Jacob is calling the sons to bless them. Hallelujah. Abraham, is, you know, uh, we, we see there's a pre there's a preparation. You know, before this, our forefathers, they rested. They, there was a preparation. They knew it. And the Bible says, even Moses, I, 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 I have fought the good fight. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. Hallelujah. So in this walk, there is a good fight to fight. It's an individual responsibility because you have your own personal race. I have, uh, and Paul is saying, I have finished the race. We were not running with other people. I had my own race. So I have finished it. And this is my concentration right now. My brethren, this is where I am. I have to finish my race. Hallelujah. So anything, any, any sin that is entangled, I mean, entangles with my life, you know, anything that is not good, any, whether it is coming from a government, whether it is coming from international community, anything that can mess up with my race as an individual. That's why I'm talking about, um, you know, a, a personal responsibility. I should be able to discard that and keep that aside. Hallelujah. The Bible says we lay, you know, that weight. Hallelujah, that Israel entangles us. Hallelujah. You know those small sins, and I call them the small foxes. Hallelujah. So, Paul is showing us there is a good fight. There is a good fight to fight. Hallelujah. There is a race to learn. There is an individual race. Sorry, I'm in the office. <laughs> Sometimes this office has some... Amen. Hallelujah. Now, the, the other thing is that he's, he's saying, I have kept the faith. I have kept the faith. So, there is a good fight to fight. If you are born again, no that there is a good fight to fight number two there is a race an individual race to learn number three you have to finish the race hallelujah and you have to keep the faith that means my brethren no matter the kind of battle no matter the kind of resistance faith has to be kept for the bible says without faith it is not possible to praise god so if there is something you must fight to keep is your faith verse eight the bible says finally there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. So the crown that does not just come. You know, we, we sing some songs and we say we shall we shall you know we shall be given the crown. The crown comes when you have already fought personally. You have already fought the good fight. Hallelujah. You have already finished your race. You have ran your race with the jewels and you have finished it. Hallelujah. The number three, the crown of righteousness is given to the people who have kept their faith. 
Hallelujah. And the Bible which the Lord, uh, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day, and not to me only, but also to, uh, to all who have loved his appearing. Hallelujah. So how and how, where and when we shall get the crown. Hallelujah. You, you have to be, be, and arise. Despite what you are going through, my brethren, despite how things are, where you are, kindly arise above that. Arise above that. Don't allow the devil to intimidate you. Arise above that. Fight the good fight. Hallelujah. Learn your race and keep the faith. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Hallelujah. So we are saying number 15, we are saying forge ahead. Keep moving. Keep moving. It is not time to slow down. If you are praying, keep praying. If you are giving, keep giving. Hallelujah. Rama Zikayando Robos, your prophetess, if you are prophesying. Oh my God, it's like a liver. Nowadays, by the way, things are just flowing. Why? I, I'm on the move. I'm, I'm on the move. Hallelujah. We are on the move. Amen. A and I remember something. Uh, the spoke, God spoke to me when we had our conference last year. He said, We arise and move. We arise and move because let me tell you the truth the season we are in things are not going to become better i was even telling the church yesterday i don't want to lie to you that things in the world will, will ever get back to whatever we call normal it, it is a high time that we arise to the occasion and live with what is there hallelujah and i'm requesting the church in the world let us begin declaring healing in the atmosphere of our nations declare healing in your neighborhood you know because the devil has been trying to poison human less but let us declare healing let us intercede for our people let us intercede for our nations hallelujah even if there is climate change and whatever the devil is trying to do may the lord spare his lemnans hallelujah and i'm requesting the church if there is a time you will partake of the holy communion like water kindly do it partake of the holy communion don't leave your house you know partake it in the office just partake the holy communion as an individual this is not a religious activity partake of the holy communion every moment it is very good for you as often as you gather ministers of the gospel in the midweek fellowships even if it is a how i know a home cell let us partake of the holy communion every moment it is very very good for us in the name of jesus hallelujah so first corinthians first corinthians hallelujah first corinthians chapter 9 first corinthians chapter 9 verse 24 to 27 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24 to 29. The Bible says, Do you not know that those who learn, let me read for us this, Amen. Do you not know that those who learn in a race or run, hallelujah, you can turn to your neighbor, tell your neighbor, we are all in the race, amen. You are in your race, I am in my race, hallelujah. But we are complimenting each other. This one, we are not competing, amen. This one is not the, like the competition I'm about to read here. But one receives the prize. Learn in such a way that you may obtain it. Hallelujah. So keep to your reign. You can, uh, people can be in a, in, a, in, a, in a field or in a ground running and you are given your own lane. If you don't keep to your reign, even if you become number one, because there is a price to be won, you will not be given the medal. Why? You did not keep to your reign. Hallelujah. So run your race. Keep to your reign. Hallelujah. And everyone who uh, competes for the prize is, temp is temperate in all things. Are you seeing this? Temperate in all things. I love what the Bible says in the book of Galatians chapter 5. You know, self-control. Be temperate. Hallelujah. The Bible says, now they do it to obtain a perishable crown, but we for an imperishable crown. Are you seeing this? Therefore, I run thus, this is Paul, not with uncertainty, Thus I fight not as one who beats the air. And I'm telling you, my brethren, we have no time for waste and we have no energy for waste. I, are you hearing what the Lord is saying? We have no time to waste. We have no time for waste. Hallelujah. We have no energy for waste. I would rather be lying on the altar in the house of my father instead of running out there. But I have nothing to show. It is not my race. You know, I'm not called to go and visit people in the hospital. So I don't have to follow people to go to the hospital. That is not my call. That is not my assignment. You know, look at the ministry of Jesus. He has his own assignment. You know, after uh, this, uh, after finishing his ministration during the day, uh, he's running his race. What do we see? He's spending his night at, at Mount Olives. And I want to correct something today by the grace of God. Kaidre, 
you know, I, I saw a statement that really encouraged because, you know, uh, sometimes you're not able to frame things the way they're supposed to be framed. I've, I've always been telling the church, Kaidre Church, not every meeting is your meeting. Not every pastor is your pastor. Listen to, uh, uh, listen to this, my brethren. God is everywhere, but he will not meet you everywhere. He, God will not meet you everywhere. You know, I have been thinking about Jesus. Why was Jesus, because he is God, why, was not, why wasn't he going to any other mountain or any other place to pray? Why was he so much concentrated on Mount Olives? Hallelujah. And we remember, this is even where he's talking to the disciples about the end times, you know, opening up to them, telling them what the things he could not tell other people. Why? Because that was the meeting point with his father. Hallelujah. We see Abraham go to the mountain. I will show you. God is a God of specification. Kaite, you don't belong to every pastor. Not every pastor is there to minister to your life. Not every prophet is there to, pro I mean, to profit your life. Hallelujah. Kaite, ask your father to order your steps where you belong. Not every conference is my conference. Not every gathering is my gathering. Hallelujah. And, and you know, we are in a generation where people want to please other people, but we don't want to please God. So a time has come, personal responsibility. Let us begin well. Please your God. Please your God every day. Ask your father. He's afraid. Father, what do we do today? Where do we go today? Hallelujah. Me, I even ask God, Father, how do we, how, Father, you know, you ask him, you know, where are you are taking me? How do I dress? You know, sometimes the Lord will tell you dress well. Be smart. Now, smart according to me, it could be my skirt suit. But then, according to him, it could be like a dress I'm wearing. So how do I dress for the occasion, Father, you are taking me into? Hallelujah. And, and let me tell you the truth. It is, a, it, is, it is a personal call. Who do I relate with? And when the time is up, it is up. No, where do I go? And when the time is up, it's up. If God sent me to the mountain to pray for three days, when the time is up, it's up. I don't have to add my own time because there will be no grace to preserve me there. You know, one time, one time in my nation, one time in my nation, I, I, I used to attend a certain conference in a certain big ministry in my nation. And, uh, you know, I, I remember it was in an August. It was, uh, those meetings are done in August. I will not mention the name. Hallelujah. Now, listen to this. One time, uh, God, stood, uh, in, in, the, in the midst, it was at 10 o'clock tea, you know, the ministers were taking tea somewhere. And I remember the Lord telling me, daughter, set yourself apart. You know, we are talking there as servants of God and holding our cups and taking tea. And this what God tells me, I want you to go up a bit. It was a bit hilly. So go up a bit. I want to show you something. And turn down where the tent is and where pe other people are gathered. And the Spirit of God, you know, took me up with my cup of tea and he turned me up. You know, he turned me down. A and I'm looking down and, and the Spirit of God is telling me, my grace for such kind of things. Now, me, I'm in a conference. And God, God is calling it a thing. To him, it is a thing. My grace for such kind of a thing added to it years ago. And I'm like, God, if your grace is not here, Father, so what am I doing here? Hallelujah. And you know, I could not attend that meeting to date. That was the end. And I loved those meetings. And this is where we are wasting our time. Uh, you go there and you waste your money because you have been told to give there. So you are giving in a place where the grace of God added two years ago. So there will be no results. And this is where so many people are suffering. There is no grace to maintain you there. And if the grace of God is not there, hallelujah. So what is holding us together there? What is there? That is, a, that is a something usual. Now, it becomes a religious setup. It began in the spirit. That's why we should move as the crowd is moving. Moses, you have not been this way before. So there will be a pillar of fire. There will be a crowd, hallelujah, to show you the way. And an angel is going ahead of you. So the Lord is ordering our steps. We should be able to know when the season is over. Even the, the things we do in our ministries, know when the time is over. Hallelujah. To avoid friction in men and to avoid wasting of time and resources. Hallelujah. Because if, a, if, if, your time that, if you have, have been doing as a woman of God conferences every year, you know, in a certain month and in a certain way, and, and I feel the grace of God is over, then I stop it. Because even if I hold it just for status quo, then the, I will not have the backup of God. It will be human labor. And human labor has no reward 
in the presence of God. Hallelujah. So what do we see? Therefore, I learn that's not with uncertainty. So thus I fight not as one who beats the air, but I discipline my body. Hallelujah. It's an individual call. I discipline my body and bring it into subjection. Rest when I have preached to others, I myself uh, should become disqualified. That is it. Hallelujah. And if there is something I'm crying for in my life, God, after I have done this to nations, after, Lord, I have denied myself the other life, that, God, I'll be disqualified. Let each one of us make that prayer in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. So let us exercise self-control in all things. Amen. Let us exercise and let us know that uh, we, we, are, we, we are not just beating, you know, the air. Our bros are not, our bo we are not boxing the air. We, we, are, we are disciplining our body and we are doing things the way they're supposed to be done in our kingdom in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Very fast, Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 2, uh, we are looking unto Jesus, the author and the perfecter of our faith. Hallelujah. Who for the joy that was kept before him, he endured even the cross. Hallelujah. He despised the same. I mean, uh, he, dis he despised the shame and has sat down on the right hand of the, of the throne of God. Amen. You know, he did not count himself to be so high. Amen. You know, uh, and uh, he, he was not even worried about, you know, about shame. Amen. He knew the people may be seeing the, the, the cross as if it is shame because I'm a son of God, but I know what God is doing with me. He's my father. I, I know where I'm going. So at the end of the day, what do we see? Jesus is seated on the right hand of the Father and he has been given a name that is above all other names. Hallelujah. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 7. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 7. Hallelujah. And you are running well. Uh, no, uh, Paul is asking the Galatians, you know, at one point up there, he's asking them, who bewitched you? Amen. I began running my race, prophetess, my God, don't tell me about the people who came into your life. Don't tell me about the places you have gone. If you took yourself, you know, to, to Asia and I had not sent you and the things in your life were sabotaged, don't tell me about that. I never took you. Amen. Because I should be able to order your steps as my daughter. Hallelujah. So Paul is asking the Galatians, you are running well. You know, you be Began well. You began with the fear of God. You began in the prayer. You begin. You began by working out your salvation with the fear and trouble. So he is asking, who he did you from obeying the truth? Who he did you? It, none, none of us has any anything yeah, to say before God. Because let me tell you the truth. You should be able to test every spirit and to be able to live well in accordance to what is stipulated in the word of God. Hallelujah. So I hear the spirit of God say, it is calling for personal discipline. Print. It is calling for personal high level personal discipline. Hallelujah. High level personal discipline. Buona asifiwe. In my country, we say buona asifiwe. That is to say, praise the Lord. Amen. So Paul is asking these people, who he that you? You began well. So where there is a cut off, my God, and that, that is hitting you. It could be an interaction. It could be an association. It could be a prayer partner. It could be even a, a very close uh, array, a very close friend in your life, in that office, in that company. My God, maybe the people you go for lunch or with. Hallelujah. Kindly check where, where things began you know, losing control of God. Amen. What he did you from learning, you know, well, by obeying the truth. Nowadays, you can buy anything in the house of God. You can do anything. So what he did you, what happened? So kindly, the Lord is speaking to us this morning because it is time to forge ahead. Kindly check where things began going wrong and made, made that, rectify that by the grace of God. Heal that. It is your life to do that. It is your responsibility to do that. Heal that. Hallelujah. Heal that. Joseph, even if it means running away, even if the woman has, has taken your garment, run for your life, even if it will take 10 years, God will vindicate you. Hallelujah. Daniel, Shadrach, and Abednego, you don't have to bow to, to the intimidations of other gods. Hallelujah. Maintain your race. Run your race. Even if it is at the point of being thrown in the fire, I will still show up. I will still vindicate you. And I want to encourage the church. We are in that moment that God is quickly serving justice. For the sake of his remnant. Hallelujah. He's serving justice. He's vindicating his own. In that nation, in that company, the Lord will vindicate you. Hallelujah. If you have stood strong for the Lord, if you have not 
bow down, you know, uh, to the intimidations of the enemy. If you are not singing the song of the enemy, the Lord is here and he has come to vindicate uh, his own in the name of Jesus. In that family setup where people have mocked you, they have not been seeing your salvation as if it is anything. I came to say today by the grace of God, keep moving, forge ahead. Hallelujah. Keep doing because blessed is that servant who will be found in so doing. Keep praying for your family. Keep loving them. Keep doing what you're supposed to do as a born again person in that company. You don't have to compromise for, for promotion because everybody is compromising. Hallelujah. Keep moving in the ways of the Lord. Keep moving in the things of the Lord. Hallelujah. Keep moving in the fear of God. Amen. For the Bible says the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. So keep moving. And if there are some things we need in this generation is wisdom, liberation, understanding, and knowledge. Hallelujah. And the fear of God, you know the five of them. We need those things. Hallelujah. If there is something that you cannot do without are those things. Hallelujah. So who bewitched you? Who messed up with you? So many people want to hold on somebody. It is so and so weird at me from, from preaching, from going here, from doing that. Kaitre, leave those people alone. Follow, run your race. Hallelujah. Leave your family members alone. Learn your race. Amen. Leave your boss alone because he does not hold your promotion. The Bible says that promotion comes from, uh, from above. Amen. He's just a facilitator of that. And if he, it is commanded of God, ask Esther. When it is commanded of God, ask Mordecai. You know, the Chronicles are showing his due. You. I mean, his due for, 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 for honor. And he had not even fasted about it or prayed about it. That is God for you. The king could not sleep and enjoy entertainment and then I, and I, a whole night because Daniel was thrown in the den of the lion. That is it. It is commanded of the Lord. And we have come into that moment that God has commanded for our remembrance. And our remembrance is coming with the recovery. It is coming with our restoration. And it is going to be massive in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So Isaiah 52. In conclusion, in my five minutes, uh, Isaiah 52. Isaiah 52, I love that portion of scriptures. Hallelujah. Isaiah 52, uh, verse 1 to verse 1 uh, to 5. You can read all of it. It's good. Hallelujah. I, I love verse 9. Awake, awake. Put on, put on strength. It is you to put on strength. Hallelujah. Now listen to this verse 1 of Isaiah 52. Uh, Isaiah 52, verse 1. The Bible says, Awake, 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 hallelujah, put on your strength, O Zion, put on your beautiful garments. Are you seeing this? It is a personal call, it is a personal responsibility. O Jerusalem, the holy city, for the anisakamsites and the anicreen shall no longer come to you. That is finished, hallelujah, unless you take yourself there. Shake yourself from the dust, you know what? Uh, uh, what came into when what you came into contact with that which is not of our kingdom that is holding on you that is still clinging on you so the Lord is saying shake yourself off the dust arise sit down O Jerusalem loose yourself from the boards of your neck O captive daughter of Zion are you seeing this it's a personal call it's a personal responsibility for that says the Lord you have sold yourself for nothing, and you shall be uh, redeemed without money. For that says the Lord God, my people went down at first into Egypt to do all there. Now you see, it is not God who took them there. They, they went there, and the Bible says, then the Assyrian oppressed them without a cause. Hallelujah. Now therefore, what have, I, uh, what have I here, says the Lord? that my people may uh, that my people are taken away for nothing those who rule over them make them well says the lord and my my name is blasphemed continually every day are you seeing this so it is an individual responsibility awake it's an individual now i woke up by myself today on my own so the call of God is awake, awake. It's an individual call. Sit down, you know, you know, shake the dust. You know, it's an individual call. It's an individual responsibility. Hallelujah. Because let me tell you the truth. We are, in a, we are still in a season of purging. Anything that is not supposed to be in our lives, God is still cutting it off. My a character, habit, and I have always said, 
if God uh, is dealing uh, with that that way and we don't cooperate with him, even if you go to 10 years, you still repeat that exam until you pass it. So let us cooperate with the Lord Joseph, cooperate with God in Egypt. You are in Egypt, but you are not an Egyptian. Hallelujah. Uh, Daniel, you are in Babylon, you are, th you are three brethren, but you are not Babylonian. So the mentality of Babylon, that the character and the things of Babylon should not be affecting who you are in me, because even in there, you are still running your race as my sons in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So, as you go to your office this week, as you do things of your marriage, as you handle your children, as you handle your ministry, men and women of God, the Lord is saying, let each one of us handle our salvation. Let us work it out with the fear and the troubling. And let each one of us know that we are on our, on our own personal race. I am on my personal race. Hallelujah. Let me learn. Each one of us should know and uh, should speak to themselves. Run your race, Regina. This week, run your race. Hallelujah. And this should be a daily confession and a daily practice. Hallelujah. So when you see me preaching to you this morning, I am running my race. Hallelujah. This is the race that is already set uh, before me by my father. And I was able to fit into my reign. That is why I'm doing what I'm doing this month by the grace of God in Jesus' name. Amen. And there is a reward for that by the grace of God. Amen. So each one of us, let us, the Lord is speaking to us. Day number 15, he's saying, forge ahead forge ahead hallelujah uh, my god arise and move hallelujah it is not time to sit there and keep on blaming this one bring my husband bring me my children bring me my uncle blaming i don't know brethren blaming i don't know my pastor no shake off that dust hallelujah and sit enthroned as a son of god in the name of jesus so i bless your week I decree from this Monday morning, you're going to enjoy the favor of God and you're going to become that which God preordained for you and you're going to encounter a season of remembrance. This week from this Monday morning, there shall be massive remembrance of the children of God in Jesus' name. So what you're going to encounter and to enjoy from this morning is recovery and restoration by the grace of God in Jesus' name. See you tomorrow, same time, 5.30 a.m. East African time, up to 6.30 a.m. by the grace of God as we go to day number 16 by the grace of God. Shalom. God bless you.